vintage clothing review. I actually had someone request affordable clothing options on my Instagram page. So today will be one of those reviews on affordable vintage fashion. So I'm uh, very excited to be bringing you this review because I really do enjoy this brand and I enjoy these clothes. So if you'd like to learn a little bit more about Zapaca and the two dresses that I have displayed in front of you today, including the one that I'm wearing, then please come hang out with me. disclaimer because I promise to always do those when there is a sponsored video. This is a sponsored video and these two dresses were sent to me while I collaborated with the brand Zapata. So we're going to start the review off talking about this green lace dress. Now the dress that I am wearing is also from Zapata and we will come back to it very shortly. This is a modernized vintage piece. And the reason I want to start with that is there are a lot of you who are watching me right now that don't wear vintage style every day such as myself. Or maybe you want to only wear vintage style once in a while or you just kind of want to dip your toe in. You don't want to go full throttle. This is a fantastic dress to do that with. The green lace on this dress feels quite exquisite. It's very nice. It's very soft. The lining is polyester although the dress itself is made up of cotton and 5% spandex. I like the length, it's a little bit longer, the T length, so if you're shorter like I am, I'm about 5'3", you might want to have this hemmed by a seamstress. But the one compliment that I got while I was wearing this dress is that this would be a perfect gown to wear to a wedding or actually have in the wedding for bridesmaids. It's very affordable, this comes in at about $50. I love the quarter length sleeves that are on this dress and I love the lace. The fact that you can actually see skin through it and that these are not lined. I like that the lace goes all the way down the length of the gown past even the lining. It is a full back zipper with a very short v-neck in the front. So if you're somebody who does not want to expose a lot of cleavage, this is a very safe alternative. I like that it's classy and chic. Now in the pictures that you're going to see, I am wearing this with a lot of vintage accessories. I have gloves, I have belt, I have shoes, I have on the stockings. So this is a dress that you can completely 100% make vintage, or if you wanted to just have a touch of vintage but really leave it modern, you would just wear regular heels with it, maybe a little diamond necklace or some pearls, and wear your hair down with those boho beachy waves which is so beautiful. Now. The one thing that I don't like about this dress is that the poly is the polyester lining. But there are a lot of clothes being made with polyester and the polyester is nice. This is not costume, you know, cheap looking dress. This is a nice affordable gown that I feel is quite versatile and can work so well in a lot of people's closets, especially if you have it tailored for your shape. Now I'm a big fan of tailoring. A couple weeks ago I launched a video of how to dress vintage with my stylist Peter Brand and he talked a lot about tailored pieces and how they work specifically for vintage styling. So if you'd like to see that video it will be in the description box for you to check out. I find this is a very comfortable dress to wear. It's not too tight. It does have what I call an empire waist. It's kind of deceiving though because an empire waist comes up underneath the bust line and it doesn't hit you at your waist, it hits you right like in between your waist and your bust line. So it's kind of like an empire bust line or empire um, cut, but not quite. For those of you who have a shorter torso or a very long torso, you might want to consider that when purchasing it. For me, I think it hits fine. Um, no, it's not my favorite place to have a seam, but I think that it still works overall for my body type and body shape. I like that this dress comes in multiple colors. You can buy it in purple and cream and yellow and brown and green and red. Of course, I wanted the green because I think it will make beautiful winter and fall uh, fashion, so that's why I chose the green. So that's just a little bit about the green lace dress that Zapaka has to offer, and it's more of a modern looking dress than it is vintage. <laughs>
I'm wearing in front of you right now is what they consider their red solid 1950s dress. It is on sale now for $36. It uh, usually is around $50. And I love the cutout here on the top. I just think that it doesn't necessitate wearing a necklace with it because the cutout around the clavicle is so pretty. It's got a kind, it has its own little design. Now the buttons, there's two buttons right in between the breast and depending on how big or how small your chest is will depend on where these buttons are going to fall or how far that they're pushed out. I love that this dress is fitted, but it's not so tight that it over sexualizes the dress. For instance, if you wanted something that was very demure, sexy, and super classy, this is a high recommendation from me. It does have a full swing skirt, so it fans out at the hips and opens up. It is a little bit shorter than most true vintage pieces because it comes up closer to the knee, but I kind of think that's refreshing and nice, and you can really wear this with both heels or flats. Again, it has a full back zipper. It is lined from the bust to the waist. The skirt is unlined, and it is made from cotton and spandex. A lot more of these details will be on my website, which is MissAudreyMonroe.com. So if you want to read the blog and see more pictures of me wearing both of these outfits, please head over there, especially to read a little bit more about them or to have um, the information in writing. There is nice, there, there, right underneath, right where the waist is, there is a nice little pleat. It's not a pleat, but it's kind of like a built-in belt. And I really like that because it pulls in the waist and it just helps create more of an hourglass shape. There's darting that goes up the bust, which is very vintage reminiscent. So this dress is going to be more retro and vintage inspired than the green dress next to me. So if you want something that's a little bit more vintage and retro, this is it. However, I still feel like this is a piece you can modernize quite easily. In the pictures that I show, I'm wearing it with little sheer black gloves, my black stockings, and I have on a sheer black shawl. It just makes it very glamorous, and I felt like I was going out on the town and very pretty in this gown. Now, both of these dresses come in extra small to 3XL. In the future, I would love to see Zapaka come out with even more size ranges because we are bigger than 3XLs and we are smaller than extra smalls. So it would be nice to have a little bit more gamut in ranges there. I like that they are made of cotton uh, for the most part. I love how affordable this fashion is. So if you are looking to kind of um, birth your wardrobe, kind of make it grow a little bit more, this is great to have, you know, for everyday dresses. You can grab them, you can go out for, you know, cocktails, or you could even wear them out to running errands, which is what I'll be doing in this red number today. At the same time, if you're new to vintage fashion and you are, everybody has a budget. I find that both, I find, I find that the website in general is very budget friendly. Everybody can find something. There's so many things on their website that you can purchase to just kind of start adding in these little bits of vintage flair and retro fashion into your life or who just want to add a little bit more pieces to their vintage closet or maybe they're just starting their vintage closet. Um, but I've enjoyed both of these pieces. Thank you so much to Paca for collaborating with me and sending me these dresses. I've really enjoyed them. I hope that you enjoyed this review. Again, please head over to my website, MissAudreyMonroe.com, if you want to learn a little bit more. If you enjoyed this review, please leave it a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments thread what was your favorite thing of learning today. Was it learning about the brand? Was it just seeing modernized versions of vintage fashion? Please let me know. I love corresponding with you guys that way. It really makes my heart happy. Again, if you haven't subscribed and you want to become part of the Glam Fam here on YouTube, please subscribe and hit the bell notifier so that you always know when my videos premiere. I post every week at 4 o'clock. YouTube is allowing you to tweak your post notifications according to what you want to see and what you don't want to see. So if you never want to miss a video, then you're going to want to hit post on for notifications because if you don't, it's only going to select a handful of videos. And I know that some of my viewers have missed a couple premieres and they've asked me why. So I... Just putting that out as another disclaimer here in this video. Of course, all my social media handles will be in the description box below so that you can join the Glam Fam over at those other places and come and be a part of the community. Also, if you want to take a screenshot of this and post it to your social media and tag at Monroe. I will write down your name and make sure I shout you out in the next video just to kind of 
it's just something fun that I have started to do to kind of bring the community in together and get to know you guys a little bit more. So I just wanted to say thank you again for hanging out with me this evening. I hope I see you back here next week. Remember to stay kind and glamorous to one another, and I will see you all real soon. Bye.